Prince Charles and his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, have begun their Caribbean tour, where they will make a historic trip to one communist state. The Prince of Wales will first meet the Duchess of Cornwall and St. Lucia, after she flew out a few days ahead of the tour. The couple's 12-day tour will include a four-day trip to Havana, in Cuba, which will be the first time any royal has visited the state. Havana resident Suri Larena, 70, said, This is an acknowledgement not only of Cuba's people, but also of the government, and tells the United States we are not that isolated. The heir to the throne was greeted by St. Lucia's Prime Minister Alan Chastanet and his wife Raquel as he touched down on the island. British High Commissioner Steve McCready was also there to greet him when he arrived. Charles' visit will only last a few hours, before he flies to Barbados to meet his wife. The prince will be given a ceremonial welcome and will give a short speech before presenting an honor that recognizes outstanding volunteers, including the Commonwealth Point of Light Award, to Dorothy Phillip, president of Faces of Cancer St. Lucia. Later at a reception hosted by the Governor-General Sir Emmanuel Neville Sinak, Charles will meet leading figures from St. Lucian politics, arts and culture. The rest of the tour will see the couple travel to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Kitts, and Nevis, Grenada and the Cayman Islands, with. The Cuban leg will then begin on March 24. Charles and Camilla will visit a Havana recording studio where they will be introduced to members of the Buena Vista Social Club. They became worldwide celebrities when their 1997 album became a surprise global hit and Grammy Award winner. Other highlights of the Cuban trip will see the couple meet Havana owners of the famous vintage cars still running in the capital, although these will be British classics. But there are no plans for the royal couple to meet Raul Castro, the brother of Cuba's former communist leader Fidel Castro. They will instead be guests of honor at an official dinner hosted by the country's president Miguel Diaz Canel. Charles already met the president, who replaced Mr. Castro last year, last November at his 70th birthday. The visit will aim to help relations between the communist run country and Western nations. Over the past five years, Cuba has taken steps towards an opening that has seen a growth in free enterprise, internet connectivity and foreign investment. But U.S. Senator Rick Scott in Florida, home to the largest community of Cuban exiles, had urged Charles publicly to cancel his trip and instead visit Florida to meet with dissidents. Charles spoke at the open-air event before St. Lucia's Prime Minister Alan Chastanet, Governor-General Sir Emmanuel Neville Sinak. British High Commissioner Steve McCready and other guests including students. Charles said, The Commonwealth has been a cornerstone of my life for as long as I can remember and, through all the unprecedented global challenge of these past seven decades, it seems to me that the Commonwealth remains as vital today as it has ever been. Speaking about the global threat posed by climate change the Prince went on to say, importantly, the Commonwealth brings us together and gives us the means to harness shared opportunities, as well as to address common challenges. There is no greater challenge facing all of us, in my view, than that of global warming and climate change which, I know, poses nothing short of an existential threat to this island as it does to every part of this region.